Hey guys, so just a quick video today. I saw someone ask, how do I learn Typeflow? Where do I start? What is the best way to go about really understanding the software? So I would say, number one, download the scene files that are provided by Tyson, the creator of Typeflow. So at beta.typeflow.com, down here you can get those. Then you basically get a bunch of folders full of really useful project files. Now each folder is essentially one of the main pillars of Typeflow and what Typeflow can do. So you get, you know, destruction, cloth, actors, interaction with Phoenix FD. I really recommend that you open every single one of these so you understand all of the different things that Typeflow is capable of. And then as you open the project file, you get this README provided by Tyson, so just read in his own words what is happening in the project file that's super helpful and then i would say if you actually want to learn then start with an empty scene so just maybe create a new type or just click new up here and recreate whatever tyson did from scratch just drag out the operators again look at his settings and recreate the result that way you will understand like oh that's why this is here before this is here and, you know, because if you just look at it, you may say, okay, I get it, I understand it. But then you close it and you come back a day later and you are completely lost as, you, as to what you should do. Because unless you do it yourself, it doesn't really register, right? You have to actually do the work and build something with your own sort of hands um, to really develop an understanding of how everything works. Now, the next thing I would say, definitely join the Typeflow Facebook group. And what I think many people don't know is that you have this search option. So if you search for anything you can think of, so for example, snow, you're gonna get all of the posts in the group ever that have been associated with snow, right? And I can pretty much say that whatever snow effect you can think of, it has already been discussed. It has probably already been done. So a lot of times I see people asking for tutorials when really their questions have already been addressed and answered all you have to do is just search for it and you know read through the comments people are always sharing super helpful tips in the comments and you can get some really really useful techniques and tips um, just from sort of digging around the typeflow group now the next step i would say definitely go to the forum.typeflow.com so this is the official forum for typeflow Tyson is here answering questions regularly. He's been great about sort of interacting with the community. Again, just about any question that you could have has probably already been addressed or answered. And if not, just don't be afraid to post and ask. You know, everybody's very friendly to beginners. There's nothing to be afraid of. Just ask your question and probably within an hour, um, somebody will respond to you. The next thing I would say, if you're sort of searching hashtag Typeflow on Instagram and you see an effect that you like and you think, man, I wish I knew how to do this, just don't be afraid to message people on Instagram and say, hey man, I saw your animation, it was super cool, how did you do that? Like, can you give me a few tips? And you would be surprised how helpful people are because they're probably flattered that you find their work cool and they want to share. You know, people aren't as secretive as you think. If you just message people and you ask, they will be very happy most of the time to, to answer your question and help you out. Now then, of course, search for tutorials on YouTube. Of course, I have to plug my own tutorials here that you might have seen already. I've made 20 some Typhlo tutorials. So that's a great place to start if you are a beginner. But be careful with tutorials, you know, they're teaching you sort of a specific technique, but really your goal should be to learn how to make something yourself with the techniques, right? So it's easy to get sort of hooked on tutorials and always watch the next one and the next one, but always sort of ask yourself, what have I learned and how can I apply that to my own project? And just as a general advice, I would say, don't be intimidated by everybody's cool work. I know what it's like when you're starting out and you see everybody posting super cool stuff and you sort of have no idea how you would ever make something this level of cool, right? This is ridiculously cool. I have no idea how to do that. But just remember that the people who are posting this cool stuff, they are the top 1%. You know, these are the people who have already put in hours and hours of their life into figuring out how to use Typeflow. And that's why they're now in a position where they can post something cool. But there are 7,000 people in this group. And I would say 
6,900 of them are in the exact same boat as you are. You know, there's probably 6,000 people who are beginners and they're not really sure how to make anything cool and they're just learning just like we are, right? We are all beginners just starting on our journey. So don't be intimidated by anyone, you know, just be curious, ask questions. I would say like, don't be one of those people who are just asking for project file, like project file pulse, PLS, right? That's just so irritating to me. But if you're genuinely curious and you want to learn, there's always somebody willing to help. So I hope that you guys found this helpful. If you did, don't forget to subscribe. I'll be uploading more videos. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.